This was once a totem's town, a metropolitan's town, but since the Kraken have been released, Seattle's all about the sea monsters. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Kraken have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Unable to reach that one. Here's a chance behind the net. Carolina's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Carolina's got it along the wall. The Hurricanes will play the puck from behind the net. Passes up ahead for the left wing. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. Moves it around. Oh, what a save. Hit it off the top. A pass. Strong. Well, he's on the board. Uh, it's always a good feeling when you get your first under your belt, James, but it's always about setting the tone at the beginning of the season, setting yourself up for success. These types of goals create a ton of energy, James. It's not just the goal, but it's the tenacity, and it's being relentless on the puck. I mean, they're ferocious out there, the way they're hounding it, and they know that they're not giving it up for free, and this is exactly why they score. They create motion, they disrupt coverage, and then they take advantage and they drive the net. This is attack mentality at its finest. Veneers wins the draw at center. Feeds the puck to Bjorkstrand. Moves it over to Pesci. Gains the zone through center. Grabs control of it at the point. Here he is, shot right in front. That opportunity is rejected. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. And that shot dies in traffic. Here's a blast. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Nietzsche carries the puck in his own zone. Carolina's on the attack. The Kraken have it in their own zone. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Slides it across to Bunty. Feeds it to Schultz. And he takes the dish. Here's a centering pass. Scores! What a finish on the play! When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all around you that are going to come and close. Seattle's in control of this one so far, Cheryl, wouldn't you say, with a two-goal lead? Absolutely, James, and often you don't see this urgency until the end of the game, but they started with it, and as a result, they've got a two-goal lead. Here's a short pass to Tanner. And he shuts the door on that. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Burkowski's been lighting the lamp at this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Past the halfway mark of this period, Seattle's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Scores! Johnny Gold with the finish. but instead they find themselves with possession because of the A for effort that he gets for being hard on the puck. And it's not just retrieval, but then it's having the mindset to attack. And that's exactly what he does off of it, and he winds up with the tally. Seattle's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. Takes the feed. Carolina's on the attack. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The Kraken have to serve two minutes for boarding.
Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Handles the puck. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Tara Bynan's got the puck in his own zone. Wrist shot to the slot. Denies him. Ronta has all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Slides it across to Borgen. And he slides it quickly to Gore. Seattle's got the puck against the boards. Takes it along the wall by Gore. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Alexiak's almost out of the box. Seattle's PK unit comes up clutch. And that power play wasn't here. Break away! He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. Great play from start to finish as he executes with some great speed to break away from the pack. And then it's all about the execution. When you're one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, you bring yourself back to your practice days and you use your move. Here in the late going to the frame, Carolina still down by two goals in this one. Seattle's won the draw in the neutral zone. Puck knock loose after that hit. Svechnikov's got it along the wing. Takes a shot. And that ricochets off a twig in front. Almost pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. to 
Dubnik. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Under all sorts of pressure, here's a chance to clear. They clear the zone. And now it's grabbed by Gord. And he passes it up ahead to Veneers. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Ajo's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Carolina's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. The pressure's on the defensive side of the puck. They win it clean and they have an opportunity right away with the tired group that they're playing against. Sends a pass over. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. They've got numbers here. Oh, look at the pass. Takes the pass. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop by Decor. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. That's gloved by Decor. Moves it to Beneers. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. And there's the whistle icing the call. Getting into the later stages of this period. Seattle's got a 3-1 lead. Ajo's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Along the right wall, and into the offensive end. Fires it! Big ball save on the play! Oh, it's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing. And one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice.
a jump, and man, did they jump, and they end up capitalizing off of it. The Kraken have to be pleased with their effort here. They continue to attack offensively in the third. This is a feel-good game, James, and you have to embrace these type of games. They don't always happen when everyone's got it working for themselves. They're communicating, they've got good habits, and they're filling the net. Jumalin's got it in the defensive end. Carolina's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. And that's a tough one for the power play team here, James, giving up a shorty on that one. But what matters now is what you do next. Reset, refocus, and attempt to get back in this one. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Shot! And that's blocked from someone in front. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Seattle's ready to go on the attack. Moves it to the middle. He shuts down a great scoring chance there. Oh, what a save as he gets that one, too. And there's another great save. Carolina's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a chance. Off the block, and the puck skips away. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Moves it quickly over to McCann. Bjorkstrand's got the puck. Rister, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Now, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. And he was ready for that one. Yeah, refs don't like that. There's the whistle as the net comes off. put in a total team effort here this evening and they lead it comfortably in the third. McCann's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Quick feed to Everly. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And they dump the puck in and the forwards are going to switch it up. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. For point blank! Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. The Rangers are on the schedule next, and when those two teams meet up, it's always a fun one. We'll see you then, I'm sure. Well past the midway mark of this period. A lot of offense in this one, mostly from one side. We've got 4-1 to score. Here's a short pass to Slavin. Carolina's crossed the line and on the attack. He got all that hit. Borgens taking it from his own end. Sorry, James, didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Lemieux's got it in the defensive zone. Quick pass to McCann. Just wide. Coaches often measure scoring chances and he does a real good job to get to that spot, but he will be disappointed. It's so difficult to get to, you want to convert when you get there. Seattle's got the puck against the half wall. For this save is all about to compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to battle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, and he actually makes the save. Seattle's been putting lots of pucks on there all night long, and they continue to really play this third period.
His reflexes on display tonight. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. Oh, that win has got to feel good after the losing streak finally comes to an end. James always felt like after, you know, you exited a losing streak, you really had an opportunity to reset. Why? Because you were starting on a win. What you can do is now build on that, build on habits, but they've got to string a few together to build momentum. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either, so we'll see you next time. And we'll see you back.